I'm getting all dirty. Can't be having that now. There we go. So hello guys and welcome your faces back to the vlog. I told you there's gonna be another video and here we are, we're back with another video. I didn't I didn't lie, uh, it's not gonna be nine months. So in today's video, we're gonna be installing the toilet. Uh, it's been a major thing for us. We haven't had one for a long time. We've been using like um, family toilets uh, in the house and things like that. It's about time now that we actually installed the toilet. Without further ado, I hope you enjoy the video. Click like, subscribe, comment down below, apply to as many people as possible and yeah. Literally just a piece of wood there, a piece of wood there. I'm trying to get it hidden nice and easy down this wall, just down this edge and come out the bottom, just about there. But lucky, there's a beam literally there and literally there. I don't know if it's going to be enough to get the pipe through, but we'll find out. Let's just drill and hope for the best. That's always good. light now. Oh yeah, look at that. We have light. So this is like perfect. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that will fit. So in theory it should have come out just about there. If I can point in line with that. So if we go up and have a look, it should be, should be there. Make sure I don't fall off this ladder. Aha, we have a hole. God, this roof is well dirty. Damn, I think I need to clean that. Summer job. Two flies having a good time there. <laughs> what a beautiful evening, look at that. Absolutely stunning. Can I ask for anything better, really? It's not raining, I suppose that's a positive. Okay, so we're gonna drill this out. I'm gonna try and drill it out with this. Um, it's getting dark and I want the, want the glue to go off, so we better hurry up. Um, so I get my holes for a bit. Tighten that up, make sure that's all nice and tight. And this is a bit bigger than what I need, but I'm hoping I have some decent filler. So if we come this way a tad. Like so. Now, if I was wrong, I think I was, but, aha, we have, we have. A said hole into the bathroom. Look at that. Perfect. Just give it all this. I don't want to breathe any of this in. <laughs> Very dusty. Right, so there is the beam. So perfect if I remembered. So we can glue that is where it is there, ideal. So what this does is just allow the toilet smell to come out because there's a fan with the inner toilet. So that allows the smell to come outside and we don't have to deal with it. But this moves with the wind so you don't have to so you don't hear the wind coming down the down the pipe because up here it gets very windy. You have a bit of water laying on the roof as well. Nuts. So future project as well is this one here, this little pipe. If you can see that, that's my kitchen extractor. I didn't do a video on that unfortunately, but I need to get another one of them and do exactly the same for the boiler. Because I don't like the boiler coming out the side, I want it to be on the top. And then we can do the sides and make them look a lot nicer than what they are. There's a lot of body work to be done, but, but that's not now. That's a, that's definitely like a, a summer project. And that sunset is beautiful, look at that. Absolutely stunning. It's getting dark now, so um, trying to get ahead of this while we can. So this needs to go in here, and that needs to go down in there like so. So if I get that like that. I get that to roughly where I want it. It'll be about about there. Uh, what do I want to glue first? I want to glue that really if I can. I glue that around there. Glue this. Now, this stuff's magical. It's like uh, they call it mitre bond here in the UK. Um, so you put it's like two part glue but it's 
really good stuff instantly goes off so like that so you put your glue on first then you spray with this fiber on you can get it from screw bricks here in the uk and it's bloody brilliant stuff um really does the job so I pink grip that in i just need to now mastic it Ooh, silicone uh silicone it in i wanted to get it done today because we've had like three weeks worth of rain now and it's doing my head in this is going to annoy a lot of you but it's black paint uh, black uh, mastic but it's all I've got and everybody's on a budget so <laughs> unfortunately this is all I have and it's gonna have to do move this out of my way um, try and get round all the way So, I don't actually see what I'm doing. This must be painful to watch, but everything will be painted eventually. So you won't see any of this. Permanent bodge to, just to get me through. All the way around. Spray this bit so far. And this will also hold it as well. Eventually I want to come around it with some nice white mastic, but for this time, just to get me through so we can get this toilet in, because the toilet for us in, at the moment is a very, very big must have. So I'm using this as silicone right now as well. I'm just gonna clean up around this bit here so I can get some decent glue coverage all the way around. But that's actually not stuck to that, perfect. You can see years of layers of paint that they've done this bus in. That is lovely. What we will have to do is all I have. Um, it seems like, again, it seems like a bodge, but it's really not. I mean, the, the mastic is underneath, it's made the seal anyway, and most of this is going to be painted. This is like a little cover anyway, just to protect it. Let's uh, set that off. Really good stuff. Really highly recommend it. Voila, installed, look at that. Perfect. Just give it a quick brush off, and make it look. It's one of them things, when you put it in once, you want it all nice and tidy and clean, and six months down the line, it'll be filthy. It'll be the same color as this roof, most probably. Look at that, there's a little puddle in the middle of my roof. How strange. So there we go, on top of the bus. You can see it just sitting up there. A lot of American RV camper vans have them. I mean, there's people that watch these videos that are from America. I mean, they're probably quite common to you, but I don't know if they are or not, but um, it was sold to me as an RV roof thing. The only sort of RVs we have over here are like these coach builds, but I think that looks pretty cool. Plus, no wind sound. They, 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 they specify no wind sound. That's the main thing that sold me because that other vent, oh, it's so noisy when it's windy. I need to think of something else, maybe like a spinny one. I don't know. down and round should match up perfectly just in there so I put the wall back put the pipe across done
So there we go. Bottom of the toilet's now in, base is in. We've got the pipe, as you've seen, it goes up the wall and outside. That's what I wanted hidden. I didn't want it in, I didn't want to be able to see it from in this side or this side. So perfect. Look at that. Base is in. Just to put the rest of it together and be done. Just got to wire that cable up and that does the fan that's in that little bit there that takes the smell outside. Right, get some bags. Let's try these out. Put them in here. They should go perfectly in there. They're 20 litres. So there we go, toilet all done, all installed, air take there, that's perfect, just what we needed. So if you enjoyed that video guys, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next video. Stay positive, peace. Simplu, if anybody's interested, it's called Simplu.